somebody is getting drunk. They're drinking now, okay? They've been getting drunk, drinking a lot, really feeling bad about you and how they treated you. You are unstoppable. I feel like this person actually even tried to stop you at one point, and they're in regret because you had somebody watching over you, okay? And whoever you had watching over you, they are getting in this masculine's ass real bad, okay? Because this masculine did mistreat you. This masculine did do you wrong. This masculine did take advantage of you, and they did try to, at one point, stop you, however that was. We're going to see what the Holy Spirit reveals to us. But they are really in a very depressive state. And it's because whoever has been watching over you and watching this masculine mistreat you, have they've gotten clearance, okay, to allow this masculine to feel how heartbroken, how depressed, how even suicidal you were when he was mistreating you and laughing at your pain and disregarding your heart, okay? So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this, please, and thank you? This ancestor of yours who has watched this person, it's almost like they had to wait to see if this person was going to change their behavior, if they were going to go from the moon to the Ace of Pentacles, but this person still continued to antagonize you, disrespect you, and I'm telling you, cause some type of ending for you as well. So they're just getting back everything that they gave to you. So Holy Spirit, it may not be coming how they gave it to you, but they definitely are feeling the same emotions, the same energy. Okay? And, it, and this is because of the action they took against you. Action that they may have taken to hurt and harm you, to cause destruction in your life. This person returned to you again and again and again, acting as if they wanted to make amends with you, acting as if they wanted to come to you in a better energy, only to bamboozle you, deceive you, try to entrap you even. I'm telling you, this person has done a lot against you. And they, they continue to do this. Like I said, this person that's watching over you in the spiritual realm, they were not given clearance initially to go for this person like they wanted to. They were told to wait. To, to wait and see. Let's see what this person is going to do. Let's see if they'll have a change of heart. Let's see if they will get their shit together and actually come to this person in the three of cups energy instead of a destructive knight of swords eight of swords energy okay they waited they were told to wait look at that time i'm telling you they were told to wait to see if this person was going to change their behavior and finally do right by you but this person never did it they never did it so a turning point has occurred, okay? Your, your, your person, that, that energy, that entity in the spiritual realm that's been watching over you, they received that clearance. They received that good news that they could go ahead and get in gear and get justice on your behalf because justice needed to be served on whoever this is that's all hurting and depressed and crying and broken and unable to seemingly move forward emotionally, this person is going through it. This is who you are. Your ancestor received good news from the universe that they could come to your defense, that they could free you from this knight of swords, eight of swords action that this masculine continued to take against you. And with this Four of Swords coming out right behind this Eight of Swords, this is really giving what I was picking up before I started. That this masculine tried to cause some sort of ending for you. Possibly tried to affect your health here. Maybe tried to get you locked up. They did something very 
very, very bad towards you, okay? And I feel like they're crying, but they're crying wolf. Because this person is sitting up acting like they don't know what or why they are going through what they're going through. They don't know what they did or why they are facing what they're facing. That's how they're presenting themselves to the world. Like, they just don't know why they're going through this. It's really giving what was me energy. Meanwhile, you and the Ace of Wands. Okay? What the universe communicated to this Page of Wands, this person in the spiritual realm, I really feel like it's an ancestor in the spiritual realm that's watching over you. They, they got clearance to help you have a new start in life, okay? And they also got clearance to start causing challenges for this masculine. So the new clearance that you got in life was you got to step into your divine femininity. You got to be, you, you're able to remove yourself from reconnecting with this person. That cycle has ended and you are on a new path to success, achievement, accomplishment, adventure even. Okay, whoever you are, Queen of Wands, Empress, you are in the Ace of Wands and the world. This Six of Cups energy, this Knight of Swords, Six of Cups energy, they are in the Seven of Wands and in the Hangman. Okay? As well as the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords. I'm telling you, this person is out their mind. And when I say they out their mind, they really are not, not saying that they're exhibiting any type of mental health disorders. I'm saying that they can't function. They can't think without feeling in despair about you, feeling in despair about their past behavior and actions, maybe even other people. This person is milling over a lot of stuff with the Seven of Cups. They're thinking about all of the options that they had in the past and the actions that they took. They're, they're trying to figure out how did they get here. I feel like they're also looking back at the different moments in time that they interacted with you and they chose to break your heart. Like this person is really going through some type of transition here, but this is a transition that needed to happen because whoever this Knight of Swords, Six of Cups is to you, this person was going to continue to try to cause some sort of strife in your life. That's just what they was going to do. Okay. You are able to leave that behind. I'm telling you, there was some type of turning point. I really am picking up that this was a divine counterpart of yours who refused to see you for who you are and chose to believe that you were the exact opposite, which is why they kept attacking you in this way. That's out here. Okay. And as a result, they have fallen from grace. They are now facing some extreme challenges. Okay? And not just emotionally or mentally. This person is facing challenges on the physical realm. People not fucking with them like that. The people that are fucking with them, they low-key are glad that this person is going through what they're going through. That's what I'm hearing. They, you know, I'm hearing somebody say it's about time. Like, this person has been getting away with a lot of shit, not just against you, but against other people as well. Their overall behavior, okay? So now this person is just getting their karma. It's, it's that, it's a way, it's that, it's like every so often we get a wave of messages where the Holy Spirit has decided to bring in karma. I made a post on my community board. You may not know the day or the hour, but best believe karma, she coming for you now, okay? Karma, karma don't skip an address. You know, there's a book, the book of life. I've spoke about this before, where everything that you have ever done has been written down. My grandma, my nana used to keep a, a speckled composition notebook, a black and white composition notebook. And she would write down 
she had like a leather book too, a black one, but she kept a composition notebook too. And people, she would loan people money. And she would write it down. Who owed her money? Okay? 1010 on the phone. And I'm telling you, that just came to my mind when I pictured the book of life. The, the book of life has everything that you've ever done, when, even when you thought nobody was looking, even things that you ain't never got in trouble for, that you got, you think you got away with, whatever it is. Okay, that's why I try to tread lightly these days. I ain't perfect, but baby, I really be on that shit like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody see you. I don't give a fuck what you think, where you at, where you go, or what you do, and who you with. There is always an eye in the sky, and I'm not talking about an electronic eye either, okay? There is an eye in the sky that has been watching this masculine behave the way he's behaved. They have watched him refuse to do better, to embrace his divine path and his divine purpose, whether it was to be with this empress or not. It don't even matter about that. 1111, but this do look like this was his twin flame that he chose to continue to try to destroy. And now his ass is bearing the brunt of all of that destruction that he tried to put on his divine feminine. All of that pain, all of that heartache, all of that depression, that sadness, that fear, that uncertainty. This man is feeling all of that shit. That's what the seven of wands and this hangman with the seven of cups and the three of swords talks about. He didn't did a lot to hurt people, and he kept going with no regard to another's feelings. It's out here. And I'm telling you, the universe tried to give this man a chance, chance to straighten up and fly right now. With this chariot that come out here now, I'm telling you, this man has had plenty of opportunities to get on his divine path and fulfill his divine purpose, to straighten up, fly right, become narrow-minded about his purpose in life and to do the right thing. But he didn't want to do that. This man has received, received communication on the physical realm as well as the spiritual realm, urging him to do better, urging him to see that if he continued to practice the antics and the behavior that he was practicing, his future was not going to be what he thought it was. But this man didn't want to listen. I feel like this man was even told to turn his back and leave this Empress Queen of Wands alone. If he wasn't going to accept or acknowledge the Ace of Wands opportunity between the two of them, leave her alone. Don't keep being out here fucking with her. I'm telling you, I'm hearing that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Like somebody told this man, you need to leave that woman alone. If The lovers, your twin flame, because she is your twin flame. And if you keep fucking trying to cause destruction and loss and harm for your twin flame, what the fuck do you think going to happen to you? See, somebody tried to tell this man that. Now he looking at you, twin flame, empress, queen of wands. And he damn can't take it. He cannot take it. He thinking about everything he did to hurt you. To harm you. This man did a lot of shit against you. Look, and he realized that he lost. This man is trying to heal. He trying to recover. Because see, the universe is getting his ass in alignment. And it's by force. Okay, because he refused to get in alignment himself. So now they doing it their way. And they dragging his ass. The star talks about healing. It talks about rejuvenation, renewal. Someone who's trying to recover. They have faith and hope that they can make it out of whatever loss, whatever theft they experience. This man has experienced the loss of his divine feminine. It's like he feel it now. He, he didn't realize that he lost you before because his mindset, his mentality was too low vibrational to even see who you were, appreciate who you were. Even when he was being shown, this man still couldn't see it, okay? But when this turning point happened 
And I'm telling you, your ancestor has something to do with this. This man can't deny who you are, and he's sick because he knows everything he did to try to hurt you, to try to end things for you. And he can never come back to you with anything less than an apology. I don't think you'll be accepting of more because, see, you stepped into a new level of abundance despite your love for this man. Okay? You weighed your options. You decided that you were going to start putting that energy that you were trying to put into him into yourself. And it has paid off for you. You, you learned how to balance your energy in a way that was favorable for you because you saw that this man was going to continue to mistreat you. You went through your own dark night of the soul. You had to realize and wake up about a few things as well. And it was heartbreaking for you. But you want to be in the Three of Cups. You ain't trying to be sitting trapped in no Eight of Swords cycle waiting on somebody to get their shit together when they are constantly, continuously trying to hurt you or cause lack and loss for you in the process. Like, that's literally what this man was doing. His divine feminine kept trying to fuck with him, and every time she tried to fuck with him, he came with this raw, raw, gully-ass energy. And I mean, he did it time and time and time and time again until the universe was like, that's enough. Until the Most High God said, we, you know, we, we done trying to give him a chance. We done trying to let him do it his way. We done trying to let him hurt this divine energy who has really stepped into her divine purpose and is doing what we have asked her to do. We're not going to keep letting this man hurt this woman. Now he hurting. What's going to be the outcome for this divine feminine? Because I really feel like the universe then also huddled up and got her a new divine masculine too. Soon as she left this shit behind with this food card, the universe huddled up in her favor as well. And that may also be why this ancestor wasn't allowed to make a move. Because the universe was also trying to see if this divine feminine was going to move forward despite her twin flames inability to do so. Okay, I'm also hearing that. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Ten of Wands. They were waiting to see if she was going to give it up. And she did. She gave it up. Because why you going to keep letting somebody down hurt your ass? Why you going to keep letting somebody mistreat you and lie to you and deceive you and even possibly get you in trouble? Because this man... This man may have tried to get this woman locked up. He tried to get her in some type of legal trouble. He also tried to make this woman sick, y'all. Did Whoever this King of Cups is, he, he was not operating at a high vibration at all when it came to his twin flame. And he continuously tried to destroy this woman. That's why he going through what he going through right now. And her giving up on... Trying to make him see who she was is what allowed the universe to let this ancestor step in and enact justice on her behalf. Because whoever you are, Divine Feminine, you don't even know this man has done the level of things that he's done against you. Okay? You really don't. And it, I don't feel like it's something we need to really even get into. Because your cup is running over now. So it don't matter what he tried to do. It matters what what panned out, what came to be. And what came to be is that you are sitting in a lot of abundance, abundance in many forms, okay? 1919, that's how the future panned out for you. Despite his attempts to have you in the same energy that he's in now, okay? Because he going through it. Oh, he going through it now. I don't know what the hell going on, but he going through it, whatever it is. The Hierophant, he may be having to deal with some legal troubles. Because, baby, he was trying to get you in trouble. And I don't want to get upset and irate like I did in that last reading. 
Okay, so I'm not even going to dig, go down that rabbit hole, child, no. What he should have did, though, was try to commit to you. What he should have did was try to honor this spiritual decree between the two of y'all when it came to this twin flame journey. But I feel like this man is dealing with some legal trouble now. He tried to get you fucked up. Six of swords. This man is trying to transition, transition away from the level of destruction and calamity that he currently facing. It's a lot of calamities happening in this man's life. A lot of loss. A lot of loss. And he, he want to move on. This man may have Aquarius in his chart somewhere. I'm also picking up something about whoever he was in a partnership with as of late. They could be an Aquarius, okay? But something has happened between this King of Cups and this Star Queen of Pentacles energy. Your energy also represented this Queen of Pentacles because it, it spoke to how you were able to see the need to put your that all of that energy back into yourself instead of this masculine but I'm picking up that there is a star, Queen of Pentacles energy that this masculine is facing some dif difficulties with here. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Justice, y'all think I'm playing. It's something going on in court with this King of Cups here. And he definitely is going through some type of karmic justice. With his current partnership, somebody he may have felt like he could commit to. Someone who I feel he thought was going to take his divine feminine place or he wanted this person to be in the place of his divine feminine. Clarify, Holy Spirit, something that happened with this woman. Look, five of cups with the nine of swords because that's not his twin flame. That's not his divine feminine. How he think he finna treat his divine feminine like shit. Try to fuck her life up and all. And then go off and have a happy ending with a bust down. Karmic. And make her into his divine counterpart. Of course it's going to end up like this. Of course it is. And I'm telling you, he also in this energy. He also in the five of cups and the nine of swords. Because this man is in some legal trouble now. But I digress. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Because I'm telling you, this man may even try. I don't know. He ain't going to reach out to you. I was about to say, this man may even try to reach out to you. But he ain't going to do that. He too shamed, honey. What could he say? And he don't know what you know about that he done did against you. He know, he know you over here sitting pretty. Free and unencumbered of anything he tried to do against you. But you don't know, 2323, what this man may have even done for money against you. That may be why you are so abundant right now. We're going to clarify that, and then I'm going to close. Because it's something about money here, too. It's something about money here. Queen of Swords. I told you this man was dealing with an Aquarius. Him and this Aquarius did something for money. Some kind of scam and scheme and shit. And they asked and got caught up. Now, I don't know how you play into that, Divine Feminine. But no worries, because these people is paying for it. They paying for whatever they tried to do. And if he tried to pull you into it in any way, they paying double. Meanwhile, you got a Queen of Wands. Excuse me. You, I'm telling you, this king, you got a King of Wands. who You got a new Divine Counterpart. Who want to take a risk towards you? Clarify, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. And then we're going to close. Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Child, Six of Pentacles. Like I said, you got a King of Wands energy who is interested in you, who is going to take a risk towards you very soon. This man wants to share his wealth with you. Six of Pentacles right up under this ace of cups here can we get a little insight into this king of king of wands and when he coming holy spirit 
I'm telling you, he coming. He didn't left something else behind. And he's coming to you. We got judgment. Me, I'm telling you, meanwhile, your, your um, fallen twin flame about to go to jail. Yo, your new divine counterpart is on the way to you, on his way to you. And since your King of Cups didn't want to step up, his ass about to step a foot into a jail cell. His ass is up under judgment. This man might be going to jail for real about something here. Devil with the moon, something very treacherous and deceitful that he didn't did, that he didn't think he would get caught up for. Okay? And I'm telling you, it may not even be what he tried to do to you. But see, that's how karma work. I'm going to say it again. I also said that in another read. Because I'm picking up on this wave of karma that's being... Flooded on people. People weren't expecting some of the shit I've been picking up on. They was not. Some people are getting caught up for things they did over a year ago. Okay? Some people are getting caught up for things that they did 40 years ago. Okay? You know, I'm picking up on something for 1982 just now for somebody. I don't know who, what. I don't even think that got nothing to do with this reading. Maybe it do, depending on how old this King of Cups is. But something happened in 1982 that somebody is currently getting caught up for right now. Okay? So, that being said, karma don't skip a beat. Karma don't skip an address. Karma come when she want her. She may not come when you want her to, but she gonna be right on time. Okay? Because whoever this is, I'm telling you, and I ain't even poked and prodded into this page of wands ancestral energy I was picking up on. That ain't got shit to do with me. Just know one of y'all ancestors was rallying in the spiritual realm for this, this fallen twin flame to get his just due for everything he had been doing against you. They went hard with the Most High God, and they was patient, and they waited. They was even kind of pissed at you at one point because they seen how you kept returning to this masculine trying to make him do better, knowing he wasn't shit, but you didn't know everything that this man was doing against you. Yet you still released this energy. You still released this energy and leveled up. And I'm telling you, when you did that, it was like God said to your ancestor, okay, you can go ahead now. She get it on her own. I wanted to see if she was going to get it on her own first. But now that she didn't got it on her own, we didn't even have to reveal Anything to her for her just to know and see and trust that gut instinct, instinctual feeling that this person wasn't no good and wasn't going to do better. And now that she got it, ancestor, you can go handle your business. And I'm telling you, that's what then went down now. I'm telling you now. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Let's make sure. King of Swords. This that ancestor. Boom. Okay. And I'm dropping the mic. There go your old page of wands right there. There you go. Because I'm telling you, this King of Cups is grieving right now. He's grieving over you. He's grieving over a lot of things. A lot of things that he done. he's done that he regrets, deeply regrets. And it's all because, how can I say this? I ain't going to say it's all because. I'm going to say it's only because you released him. You released him. You released him and you let the universe handle it. And this is how the universe has chosen to handle it. Okay? So I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.